funding over a hundred various foundations for all of these various social engineering programs that are all New World Order connected. You know, a lot of these programs are right out of Brave New World or uh, 1984. And uh, he's nobody's, he's not the common person's friend by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, anyway, to get back with Doreen Bishop, the Economic Development Office at the time of the visit of President Jimin was headed up by a person by the name of Ron Bernstein. Ron Bernstein happens to be the first cousin to Doreen Bishop. Doreen Bishop's, uh, another very prominent first cousin of Doreen Bishop is Norman Brokaw, who is the chairman of the board, essentially the owner of the William Morris Agency that headquartered in Hollywood. Doreen Bishop, born and raised in Hollywood. Uh, she's been an Illuminati princess her entire life, obviously, obviously because she's born into it. But uh, Maureen uh, and I would be talking several hours a day, and I would be relating to her what I knew of in the background of the Denver Economic Development Office and the real reason why that office would be opened. Uh, and I had this confirmed uh, years subsequent to the summer of 2000. Uh, that uh, this office was actually being used as a channel for the transference of military top secret, above top secret hardware, technology, plans, documents, whatever it took to Denver do, <clears throat> for Denver to do its part in the transference of technology. And what is here, we have between Colorado Springs and in Denver, we have much more aerospace technology that's being manufactured, designed and manufactured here than what people realize. And uh, when we have this facility that I mentioned earlier, uh, the Lockheed Martin Missile Manufacturing Facility in Waterton Canyon in Littleton, uh, and we have satellites that are being produced there also. In fact, uh, on CBS News one evening about four years ago, five years ago, uh, they actually showed a satellite that was being delivered to the National Reconnaissance Office, which is the largest operator of spy satellites uh, that uh, are being used for worldwide surveillance. Uh, this is also part of the, uh, the Echelon network that's operated by, by DNSA. But they showed it was a $500 million satellite that was manufactured here in Littleton at the Lockheed Martin facility. And in the background was a huge banner, and nobody uh, before really saw this on the CBS Evening News, but there it was, the NRO, the National Reconnaissance Office, and a big, huge banner up on the wall. Now, heretofore, the NRO was not even uh, acknowledged as even existing. So they're having this kind of stuff in our face of what they're doing. Yeah. And we're transferring our deepest secrets to the Chinese. We've been doing it with the Russians all of these years. We have this whole false thing of them being our enemies, the Russians, that is. Yeah, the whole Cold War being, being a lie. Pardon? The whole Cold War being a lie. Oh, absolutely. You know, that being a, the uh, the architect of the Cold War, being General Reinhard Galen, who was the head of uh, uh, the uh, Soviet intelligence uh, apparatus that was... Uh, run uh, by, through his headquarters. Uh, he was the top intelligence chief for Adolf Hitler. And he ran the Soviet division of uh, the Nazi intelligence. Uh, and so uh, that was, by the way, all brought into this country, as we all know, under Project, Project Paperclip. But he was the architect of the Cold War, this whole false Cold War that uh, cost trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars. Uh, millions and millions of lives under this false front that the Soviets are our enemies. Well, we're arming them. We've armed our enemies. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're much stronger than what uh, is being acknowledged. Well, they've always portrayed Russia as, as they, you know, like the same way they do Mexico, the starving peasants, the outhouses out in the backyards, the shacks, the loaf of bread they're standing in line for for a week. I mean... The way we portray them is, is, is far from what reality is. 
Well, there's a very interesting videotape that was produced by Terry Reed, a former CIA asset, and others uh, that he was associated with. And this videotape ran over an hour and a half. And it was showing the what was done in Mexico uh, with the Macleodoras. And the Macleodoras are manufacturing plants that were established by our wonderful Buy America First corporations. Uh, where our manufacturing operations were being transferred out of this country along with millions of jobs. This was the giant sucking sound that was mentioned by uh, Ross Perot. And uh, so the videotape is produced uh, along the lines of what Ross Perot was saying about the giant sucking sound. That's where all of our jobs, that's where all of our industries are going with the Macleodora Zone, which is a 40, I think, or maybe 60 mile wide zone uh, extending into Mexico and it's also north of the border also people don't realize that either but uh, you know these people are being paid probably about a quarter of what American workers were, be were being paid but you know they're working at facilities that are absolutely world-class state-of-the-art and now question, these Macleodoras are being uh, supplied through the services of Costco bringing parts of all sizes and shapes and uses out of Japan, but Japan now is outsourcing parts made in China. And they're being brought in to the West Coast ports and supplying the Macleodoras with parts that used to be made here or the entire product that used to be made here that are now being made everywhere else but here. And my friend in San Diego is telling me uh, to refer back to uh, an article he was reading about what Costco was doing in Mexico. Uh, they're enlarging, deepening and enlarging the port in Ensenada, adding new uh, docking facilities and two huge cranes to offload the, the, uh, uh, the containers coming off of the uh, Costco container ships. And uh, they're also doing a rail line in uh, from Ensenada, and I believe it's running up to Calexico, so they're going to be bringing goods, you know, into Southern California, and I'm sure they're going to be doing it on the uh, the NAFTA highway that is uh, due to be completion coming up from the from from the south, going all the way up into Canada, through all, through Texas and all the states north of Texas. I believe this is uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact uh, interstate route, but it's being widened to 12 lanes going each direction at least for certain parts of the road, and this is for the transference of goods being made in Mexican Macleodoras, being brought into the United States and being brought into Canada, and this is all under the auspices of uh, NAFTA and CAFTA and uh, GATT and the World uh, Trade Organization. It's homogenizing everything. We don't have borders now. Yeah. Literally, we don't have borders now. Are we building a highway <laughs> anyway, expanding one from Mexico through Texas? And I've been hearing a lot about a, a, a new highway going in down there. Yeah, they call it the NAFTA Highway. <laughs> I got a question for you from a listener. Go uh, ahead. They want to know, do you believe in UFOs? And if so, what is the basis of your belief? Well, uh, certainly UFOs are a real thing. Uh